So <clears throat> once you have that all set up, um, you've now you've got a system adapts your lenses and displays the screen, and now your camera can focus onto here, onto the screen. Um, oh yeah, and basically the same thing with the other end is the reason why I have this glass on here is because, again, no dust can get in here now in case I were to take this off. No dust can get in here or to the screen, so that's not going to be in focus. No dust will be on the screen. Um, so now you've got your system that works and everything's good. And this is a, a static adapter right now because this isn't hooked up. Um, so you've got this full system, everything's working well. The next part that you have to do is, of course, you have your wires and stuff that come out. Um, this is a plug. I forget what it's called. I got it from Radio Shack, though. And basically what it allows you to do is just to attach your positive and negative to another plug. So this makes it easy for me to um, screw this onto my lens and have my battery system and, and motor and switch and stuff separate from everything else. And this I can leave on the camera and then once I need to attach the, the battery, um, I can put it right on. So that makes it easy. You don't have to do that. It's kind of something I did just because it makes it easier for me. Um, it's more convenient. I can, and then I've got this little box that I put everything in. It's very clean, nothing gets in it. And just, it's a nice way to keep everything organized and, and stuff like that. So yeah, I got this box from Radio Shack. It's a, called a project box. I think it's the smallest one they make, but it perfectly fits your battery, a switch, and a resistor. Now I got um, the switch and I got the resistor from the the link that also provides the um, the GG holders. This guy sells the whole kit together with the uh, the switch and the resistor. Sorry, the resistor. Um, what I bought from Radio Shack is a battery holder and extra wiring to wire everything out plus the plug. This is a male plug and the other ones. Now this is a female plug, the other one's a male plug, sorry. Um, but yeah, so you've got your battery, double A, you only need one. If you use more than one, you could blow out the, um, you can overpower it, which is also why the resistor's here because um, it will resist the voltage of um, the, ba the AA battery, which is 1.2 volts, but you want it to be one volt running into the, um, the pancake motor. So that's what the resistor is for. It's pretty important, not too important, but it'll help keep your motor running well for a long time and you don't have to worry about it blowing out or anything. The switch is nice because then you can turn off and on the adapter whenever. If you're not using it, you're not wasting battery. Um, but yeah, so I fit everything in here. I drilled a hole in the project box. The nice thing about the switch is that you can um, you can twist these little things off and you can attach it on one end and have the insides on the other end and then just screw it on and it sits in there very tightly. Um, it's got a little thing so it doesn't spin um, but yeah so it's a switch I was gonna install a light to show that it was on and off but I couldn't get the light set up and plus the light will also take down voltage so I ended up just forgetting about it because I didn't want to mess up how much volts were going through and that just gets more confusing so that's why there's an extra hole there is because I was gonna have a light coming through but yeah so then you have that, and then the nice thing about the project box is that you've got all your stuff in here that you can now just close up. So everything's organized and nothing's exposed, nothing's hanging out, and that's smart because then nothing will get broken in the middle of a shoot, and you have to worry about re-soldering wires because that's just a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, so you've got 
what I did here is I added some hot glue again and to make sure that there's no tension on pulling of any of the wires on the inside and all the wires are soldered and hot glued so nothing gets pulled or short circuits or anything like that but yeah so now that you have these two things um, you can just detach them and you hit the on switch and bam it vibrates um, it's not working right now because as you can tell through this video, I broke the wire on the inside because I pulled on it too hard when I was twisting it off. So it doesn't work right now. I'm going to have to refix that. Uh, it doesn't take too long, but it's kind of a pain in the ass now. So that just shows you have to be really careful with the wires and everything and just making sure that you properly install them and don't um, pull on them because that'll mess it up. Uh, but yeah, so that's your system. Um, another way... This is from an Alta lens, this right here, uh, the bayonet. Um, I know you can get like Nikon, Canon, anything pretty much. The challenge for you guys will be is figuring out a way to attach this to a 72 millimeter thing. Um, I know they sell the Asian like extension tubes. Um, those are really popular because the, the guy who sells the GG holders also makes the GG holders to go into the Asian extension tubes. So that makes it easier for you to just be able to plop those in. But for my sake, this is how I did it. And that's how what I'm showing you right now. So if you want, you can go out and buy these teleconverters. Basically just disassemble everything except for this front piece. And you can attach the 55 millimeter uh, UV glass fairly easily with some Gorilla Glue. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, it's pretty cool. Works well. Uh, it's reliable when you don't pull on it and break it like I just did. What I do is I added some Velcro on the back so I can attach it to either the back of this or to my lens support rod system, which isn't set up, but that's where the other pieces of Velcro are. Um, they sit on the lens support system so I can attach this in and that doesn't move and then this is also supported so voila there's your adapter and bam <laughs> so there you go that's what it looks like um, I don't have my support rods with me. They're being used right now in a shoot, so I can't have them right now. Um, but that's what it looks like. It's actually really stable without the lens support rods, but I have lenses that are, like, really big, and they need the support, and the more weight that you put on the front threads, it's really bad for not only your camera, but it messes up the image quality because they could be lopsided, and then you'll get, like, weird netting on it. But yeah, uh, that's about it. Yeah, all the links will be provided on the side of the video. I'll show you where I get all my uh, UV glass from and uh, where I get my lenses is from the same places I get my UV glass. Um, I'll show you the GG holder guy with that guy who makes all that stuff in the motor and the resistor and switch. Um, radio For everything else, all the wires, the battery holder, the AA battery holder, and the project box, the soldering iron, soldering um, wire that you need, and the hot glue gun I got all from Radio Shack. Pretty cheap, cost me about 30 bucks. Um, the 72 millimeter rings probably cost me a total of 15, 20 bucks. Um, but yeah, everything else is pretty cheap, cost me about a total of 250 to 300 dollars to make the whole thing. Um, I've made a lot of them, so I've had um, equipment and stuff that I can use for pass down on other adapters. But, um, yeah, that's about it. If you have any other questions, leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, I'll try my best to help you guys out. I hope this helps most everyone. But, yeah, just have fun and shoot. Yeah.